Hey ho peeps, Pablo Picanto here with a quick overview over the tank heroes of Overwatch. First tank hero is D.Va. She has good mobility and hits hard. She may not look like it, but she is the tankiest hero in the game, as she comes with 400 armor and 100 HP. D.Va's weapons are the fusion cannons that you can basically fire without any pause as you have infinite ammo with no reloads necessary. Because of their spread, the cannons are only effective at a relatively short 10 meter range. Left shift activates boosters that allow you to fly anywhere you want, as long as you can reach it in 2 seconds. Cooldown is only 5 seconds, so you will be able to get into fights quickly and escape again when it gets too tight. Shooting will cancel the flight and you will drop down like a stone. E ability is Defense Matrix. That activates a shield in front of you that blocks enemy projectiles for 3 seconds. Cooldown is 10 seconds. You can use this ability while using your boosters, blocking damage while flying towards the shooter. Very useful to get close and hit hard with your cannons. Notice that boosting into an enemy will deal some damage and knock him back. That can even push him off edges. As you can see, D.Va's life points are separated into two parts, white being HP and yellow being armor. In general, armor points will decrease only half the rate that HP do when taking damage. These training bots hit for 4 points on the armor and for 8 on HP. When D.Va hits 0 HP, her passive ability Eject will activate. She will leave her mech and you will be running around with a 20 shot per magazine light gun. You only have 150 unprotected HP at that time. So your goal will be to fill your ultimate up to call down a mech again. As long as you are out of the mech, your ultimate will charge up a lot faster though. Diva's ultimate ability activated while being in the mech is self-destruct. Upon activation, D.Va will leave the mech that charges up for 4 seconds and then explodes, dealing devastating damage in a wide radius. If you hesitate getting away from it, you will not survive that explosion. It is possible to use your boost and then use the ultimate, letting you get out and the mech travel further for the rest of the booster's duration. That is going to help you not being in the kill zone. Once the self-destruct is done, you can instantly call the next mech. Second tank hero is Reinhardt. Reinhardt is the only hero relying solely on melee combat, but has several abilities to close the gap to range combat opponents. He comes with 300 HP and 200 armor. Reinhardt's Rocket Hammer is a melee weapon with a wide swing that knocks enemies around and deals heavy damage. On left shift you can charge onto enemies that are too far away for melee combat. On activating you will go in a straight line to wherever you were looking. You will only stop after hitting a wall or another solid obstacle. Enemies in your way will be forced to take a ride and be smacked against the next wall killing heroes around 200 HP instantly. Be aware where you're going though, as you cannot cancel the charge by yourself. You could charge into the abyss. Small obstacles might not stop you. Charge has 10 seconds cooldown. E ability Fire Strike is Reinhardt's only ability to fire a projectile. This one basically travels forever, dealing a high amount of damage on enemies. Notice that Fire Strike does not go through walls, but it goes through enemies hitting everyone in line. Cooldown is 6 seconds. Pressing and holding down the secondary fire button activates Barrier Field. This is a mobile barrier Reinhardt can carry around that blocks 2000 damage. Of course you will have to watch your back while using that one, as you only cover your front. You will also not be able to use another ability while keeping the barrier up. Once shot down, or as long as you do not use the barrier, it will take 2 seconds before the barrier begins to recharge. Recharge from 0 to 2000 will take around 10 seconds. 
Earthshatter is Reinhardt's ultimate. It will knock down enemies, stunning them for around 3 seconds and dealing a little damage. Earthshatter affects enemies in a wide range straight before you, but it will not hit enemies on your side and back, no matter how close. Next up is Roadhog. Roadhog is a hard hitting tank that likes to get opponents in close range and mercilessly brings them down. He comes with 600 HP. Roadhog's scrap gun fires a short range widespread blast on primary fire that is more effective the closer you are to the target. Secondary fire shoots a scrap ball that splits up after about 10 meters, releasing that same widespread blast in 10 meter distance. If you stand too close to your target, secondary fire will not do much. However, if you have the perfect distance, the projectile will split directly in front of the opponent, dealing enough damage to one hit 200 HP heroes. Four shots per magazine on each of the fire modes. Roadhog's left shift ability, Chain Hook, brings enemies close to you, leaving them open for one clear blast. The chain will go quite far, around 20 meters is the effective range. It deals a little damage, but the enemy will not be stunned. Both of you will be able to attack each other. Roadhog's scrap gun is a good choice for a close range duel though. Chainhook cooldown is 6 seconds. Take a breather on E will heal Roadhog for 300 HP over the course of 1 second. Keep in mind that he will stand still in that second, not being able to use another ability. Roadhog's ultimate, Whole Hawk, will unleash a powerful scrap storm for 6 seconds. Everything in front of you and a little to the left and to the right will be hit, quickly taking lethal damage. Be sure to counter the recoil with your mouse. Next tank hero is Winston. He has good mobility and some effective ways to support and protect his teammates. He comes with 400 HP and 100 armor. Winston uses his Tesla cannon that fires electric waves. They connect to an enemy inside a 10 meter range. As long as connected, they will deal a constant amount of damage over time. Your aim will not have to remain on the opponent perfectly. General direction is fine to make the waves hit. Left shift ability, jump pack, will make Winston take a leap to where you are aiming at, knocking back and damaging enemies a little on impact. You can easily reach higher grounds with this. And because of the relatively short 6 second cooldown you are quite mobile. You want to have a little practice with the leap though, as you go in a curve and not in a straight line. Winston's E ability, Barrier Projector, sets up a bubble that blocks damage for 5 seconds. It can be destroyed earlier when taking enough damage though. Teammates can shoot from inside the bubble. This has a 13 second cooldown. Primal Rage is Winston's ultimate ability and gives him 500 extra HP. It will last for 10 seconds and Winston will only be able to use melee attacks and left shift leaps. Melee damage will be buffed and knock back enemies, and leaps will only have a 2 second cooldown. However, this ability barely has kill potential for multiple enemies. It is good to bring confusion into enemy lines though. Last tank hero is Zarya. She fulfills the tank role with her various shield abilities that support the team. She comes with 200 HP and 200 shield. Her particle cannon does constant damage over time, no matter what body part you hit. It is effective at mid-range. Anything further away will not hit anything. Other than Winston's Tesla cannon, you will have to be exactly on target to deal damage. A general word on shield points. They take the exact same damage as HP do. After about 3 seconds of taking no damage, they will begin to recharge. Left shift ability, Particle Barrier will block incoming damage on Zarya for 2 seconds, 8 second cooldown. E ability, Projected Barrier will block incoming damage on the targeted ally for 2 seconds, 10 second cooldown on this one. 
Another benefit of these two barrier abilities appears in combination with Saria's passive ability, Energy. This one buffs your particle cannon's attack power whenever one of your barriers block damage. That is indicated by the number below your aim. The more damage you block, the faster the energy level will rise. 100 is the maximum with every energy point being good for 1% damage increase. Keep in mind that the energy level decreases at a very quick rate. So to be effective with Saria, you want to block high amounts of damage to keep your energy level high and potentially deal double damage. Zarya's ultimate, Graviton Surge, launches a gravity bomb. This one does very little damage, but it pulls in enemies in a wide radius, leaving them wide open for your team's full attack power for 4 seconds. Notice that the gravity bomb will not go off when it hits a barrier like Reinhardt's barrier field. This will render your ultimate useless. That's it for the Overwatch tank heroes. I hope there was a little bit of good information for you in here. If there was, leave a like and I'll be happy to see you in the next video. Have a nice one and peace out.